So I've been playing this legacy challenge on my YouTube channel for a couple years now, and we've had a rather unfortunate generation recently. First of all, my sim had triplets, then one of them got taken away, and I had to close the game without saving to fix it. And then one of the other triplets literally died in a fire. I had to plead for her life, and she got brought back. The third one hasn't had any issues yet, but I'm kind of bracing myself for what might happen in the future. But finally, these triplet babies have become teens, so my life should hopefully get a little bit easier now because they can like do things for themselves a little bit. When they were toddlers, it was a uh, it was a rough time, okay? But now that we're finally teens, things again are, are looking up. But since these sims just aged up, I wanted to redo their bedrooms. We have kind of this little wing of the house that's shared between the triplets, and I made a video redoing these rooms when they were children a couple weeks ago, so I can link that down below. But I want to redo it again and make it into more of like a teen bedroom. Luckily for us, we've got a pretty decent amount of money to work with, so we don't really need to worry about that. And I've also kind of already figured figured out a layout that works for this room. I've kind of split it down the middle to sort of have two sides to the bedroom, and I think I want to keep that up. I just want to redo some things and, and maybe make it seem a little bit older. I also might switch out who is sharing the rooms. Before we had Bryce and Baby sharing a room and then Barb had her own room. I realize the names are kind of silly, just ignore me, okay? The last name is Belle, this sim's name is Baby Belle, like the cheese. It, it's funny. All right. But anyway, before we had these two sharing a room, I might give Bryce his own room and then switch Barb into here because I kind of like the idea of an all girls room. And these two Sims also have very different styles. Like Baby, as you can see, likes a lot of like cute, pretty pink things. And Barb wears like all black and stuff. So they kind of have like an opposite thing going on. And I think it might be kind of cool in the bedroom. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff and we can redo it. To be honest with you, I feel like a lot of baby stuff could probably actually stay. She's probably the most similar now to how she was as a child compared to her siblings, but the rest of this stuff is gonna need a makeover. So I think I'll probably start with Barb. Barb is a bookworm, a vegetarian. This is what she wears for her everyday outfit. Like I said, a lot of black. You know what? We could probably keep the bookshelf, but like swap sides so the books are on Barb's side. Or we could get a different bookshelf because this one doesn't come in a black swatch. Although, do I really want to have black furniture? Probably not. We could get like something like this because this one's a little bit more modern looking, I guess. It's also a bit wider, which could be a bad thing because it takes up more space space, but there is more walking space here, so this is fine. Unless, wait, 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 there's these items from Dream Home Decorator. I do like how this bookshelf looks, but there's these little cube shelves. I guess they have to be on a wall, don't they? That makes them kind of annoying to place. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say we could try and stack them and make our own like custom cube thing, but it's probably in our best interest to just use the one that already works. Oh my god, I just noticed my cat is in here. She's probably been here for a while and I didn't even realize. <laughs> if you see the little blob back there, it's actually a cat. I wonder if we could try and do like a really cool accent wall, something like this. And maybe on this shared wall, we could do like a brick thing. Kind of the idea that I had before, and you can sort of see, is that we had this big long desk that split the room and they each had their own halves to it. And then we would like decorate the halves of the desk accordingly. But this wall is shared, so I kind of had a hard time painting it. I do think I like the brick and I think I like the idea of getting some sort of pattern in here. I don't know what. I do like this one. I also kind of like this curtain. So I might try and use this too. It comes in this nice pink and teal, which is kind of what we're going for. Oh, wait, this one's so cute. I don't know what to use. Baby is so much easier to decorate for. <laughs> Maybe if we picked a bed first, because I don't want it to be like all black. You know, I would like it to be black with some accents. This is a little bit brighter than I would like it to be, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. I don't know if we're into void critters like that, but you know, maybe. This is just a plain bed, but maybe we could make that work if it was just plain because we can add decor elsewhere. She could probably have a fuzzy rug. I'm adding in so much black. <laughs> I should probably pick the wall color before I do this. That might be easier. Her brother had this like combo yellow and blue thing, which I do like, but now I'm kind of wondering if I should switch to something more like this because I quite like the pattern. Maybe she could have like a black black brick accent wall there. This is gonna be kind of cool because of how stark the two different sides are gonna be. But now I'm kind of thinking maybe the bed should be white. It can be floral, but I guess we just need to have like some sort of tie-in between like the white furniture. There needs to be some common thread in the rooms. Maybe she could have like white, black, and a little bit of blue as the theme. I would really like to have some sort of chair or something because she likes reading because then she can have like a little cozy reading nook. This one is so cool, but do you think that it's too much? I really like the lights on it. Why don't all of them have lights? That's not fair. The lights are like the coolest versions. I mean, like that'll do, but that's not, it's not good. Okay, well maybe baby can have this chair. <laughs> she can have the purple, that'll work. Ooh. Oh, cute. We do actually have a nice black and white print that we could use. I kind of liked the idea of 
Barb being a little bit into sports, but I don't know if I want to use like basketball on the wall to show that. I do love this mirror. Maybe they could both have that mirror. I don't think that's too much. I think that's fine. I need the curtains to be like slightly less wide than this, but slightly wider than this, and there's not an in-between. Curtains that are the right size are just so hard to come by. You know what? That could be kind of cool. Maybe I will use that. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. So last time I did this, I used like, oh, this could be cute. I was gonna say that I used like a little furniture piece. I had like this thing backed into the bookshelf a little. I might try and do something like that. Basically, I'd like to find some sort of way for them both to have a dresser of some sort. Oh, baby has one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> she has way more space, it feels like. Okay, maybe this chair could work? Oh, the purple is really cute. What if we did like a light purple as the accent color instead? Oh no. <laughs> I want to use the same chair for both of the Sims. Maybe we could have the purple. Okay, maybe, maybe Barb can have the purple heart chair and we can pick, because there's way more pink swatches that match than like the pastel purple, so we can just swap it out. I always have so much fun putting in bedroom clutter, like hiding a little backpack and making sure all the Sims have books and stuff. Now I'm trying to decide what sort of decor items to put in this shelf, because we could use a little bit of purple on this stuffed animal, and there's kind of some fun bookends and stuff that we could add in. Maybe Barb could also have some makeup over here, and then on this little shelf, ooh, it's kind of small. <laughs> we could try and find some little clutter items. Maybe she can leave her phone there. I don't know what teenage Sim is just gonna set their phone on a shelf in their bedroom, but whatever, we can pretend. And like I had mentioned, Barb is kind of into sports. I think she might end up being like a secret agent or something when she's older. I don't really like the idea of all of that sports stuff. Maybe if we just had like one ball, like maybe we could pretend that she plays soccer. Ooh. So she could just have like a soccer ball there. There's not really a lot of wall space for posters. And I know her sister has fairy lights already, but I might give them both some because it's really pretty. Oh God. Okay. The placing of things on the desk is so hard. That's half why I left all this stuff on baby's side because I didn't want to redo it. And I think it looks cute still. I don't think that Barb should have the soccer lamp. I don't think the soccer lamp is that cute. We could do like a plain desk lamp and put it kind of in the corner. And there's a bunch of really nice like book decor, I guess. There's that one that looks like it's an open book, like, like a diary or something. And we could give her some textbooks underneath the desk. Those kind of match. Honestly, they could probably have some textbooks in between them. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they were taking some of the same classes or something in real life, but I don't really like how that one looks. I was more so picturing this. Because Barb loves to read, maybe she also loves to write, so she could have an open diary there. If I shared a room with my sister, there is literally no way I would leave my diary open on my desk, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> if I was sharing a room though, there is no chance I am leaving that open. All right, well, I think that could be Barb's side, and then Baby's side is gonna take some serious redoing, because I kept a lot of this furniture in here, when in reality, I probably want to swap a lot of it out. And I want to go for like more pink vibes this time around. I did love this mint color and the pink swatches that we have aren't that good. Do you think I should give her the strawberry walls? I really do just love the strawberry walls so much. <laughs> I really, really like them. Oh, okay. This is kind of interesting. I hadn't thought about using this bed, but what if we tried instead of like pastel strawberry vibes? Well, we could still use a wallpaper, but I don't think I like that one. What if instead we went for more like pastel, slight pattern, but more cutesy vibes with like pretty furniture, like this pink bed. I might swap out some of this too. Oh, I've got so many weird things in my inventory. Is that my, oh no, I must've unlocked another one. I was gonna say, is that mine from my garage? No, this is what happens when you play with a Sims family for nine generations. You have so much weird stuff, please ignore. I guess if we're gonna do that, I might swap out a lot of the furniture to be like, I don't know, more traditional, I guess. I have been dreaming of a chance to use this thing. I always forget about the swatches that it has, but it honestly has some really, really cute ones. I say that, but oh, we could definitely use that in here. I was gonna say, I say that, but I don't think it'll fit. It'll definitely fit and we should use it. I really like that. Maybe I could go back to this little tiny one. And then what else would she have in her room? Now that we're teens, we don't need like toys as much. So I'm kind of struggling to figure out what's best. What if we got a vanity? I bet this little vanity table, ooh, it's kind of tight. It definitely still works though. And we can scoot it like as much as possible. I got rid of all that makeup storage I had on the shelf before, so now I'm kind of trying to rethink this. We could actually probably rearrange the room a little
little bit too if we wanted to. I guess I had originally had the bed here to hide the weird clipping, but just just don't look at it, okay? <laughs> it's I'm the one playing in this house, and I don't care about the weird clipping. So it might be kind of nice to like rearrange the shape. We can use the little cookie. I love the little cookie. It's so cute. I feel like that's really nice though to have the headboard up against that wall. It really creates some privacy. Oh my goodness. I always forget about this painting. I might use that. I like how it ties in some more colors. Although I guess the other color we're using is more of like a purpley color, isn't it? Do those things look weird together? <laughs> I can't tell. This might look better, to be honest. That might match more. Mm, I don't like it. I want to live my pink dreams and I like that better. So I'm going to use it. I feel like I now have no space for the vanity that I wanted though. <laughs> that's okay. Maybe we could get a standing mirror. That also helps to hide the weird little thing on the floor. And there's a bunch of really cute like poofs and things that we could put that will also hide the weird thing on the floor. I can get some makeup over there, kind of in front of it. We could always use like a tiny table of some sort. I don't really know which one is best, but like we could put a tiny table to use as makeup storage. This one's actually kind of fun because it's pink. I don't know how much pink is too much pink, but I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to use it. Okay. I feel like that's actually really nice because I got some combination like makeup and jewelry storage and we can put that over here and maybe I'll swap it around a little bit, do something like this instead and then put a mirror above it, almost like a pretend vanity. That one's kind of low, so that might work. You know what? I really like these two rooms. I think it's fun. They're definitely a little bit more grown up. They each have their own space and then their brother miraculously <laughs> has lucked out and like really gets his own space. He has his own room. So this sim here is baby. This is who has this pink side of the room. Her outfit even matches. And then their brother Bryce is down here. He likes the color yellow. I noticed that in his likes and dislikes. He also enjoys fitness and mischief, which is interesting. And he had that sort of like blue and green theme to his room. Oh, this might be kind of a cool color scheme. This is also really similar to the original Sim who lived in this room. Originally their uncle Bo lived in this room and he had this blue wallpaper. So it's kind of fun to like bring it back, you know? Ooh, I think that bed might fit perfectly. Oh, I just cheated for money. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Go away. No, 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 no. Remove. That was my bad. I don't think we need to cheat for money though. We have, we have so much money. I know it might not look like I have that much money, but that's because I'm really not careful with money because my Sims make so much money. We have like multiple Sims that have full-time careers right now. We have like both of these Sims parents and also their great grandmother who is only an adult. Long story, basically she died and I brought her back to life, <laughs> but she's young still. So she still makes a lot of money from her career. She, she still gets book royalties. Like we're, we're really okay. I will acknowledge that if you are just now hearing about these Sims for the first time, this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> like this is kind of scary. If you want to watch the Let's Play, I can link it down below for you. Um, I have a lot of fun. <laughs> I really enjoy it, but I can acknowledge that it is, um, it's really something. Let's just say that. It's, it's really something. <laughs> is this a weird color combo or is it fun that it doesn't match at all? I think the fact that it doesn't match at all is kind of exciting. To be honest, I'm kind of finding it a little bit inspiring. <laughs> the fact that nothing matches. I guess we could get rid of that, that accent wall because that would make it so that it kind of blends in a bit better. This bed is weird. I think I like that best. And we could do like a kind of fun poster combo. See, like this is good. He's supposed to be kind of into sports. He and his sister have that in common so we can have them like have some sports equipment and stuff. I don't really believe that he needs his own laptop, but I might as well put one. <laughs> he can have a laptop. That's fine. Honestly, I, I kind of think that we have enough computers in this house, <laughs> especially like between the three of these Sims. They have so many computers, but it's okay. I like how Bryce has a few more posters. We didn't really have a lot of wall space in the other room to do that. So it's kind of fun to give it to Bryce. I think I might put Bryce on the football team. So I'm going to give him some football stuff too. If I'm being honest, these Sims only just became teens like an hour ago in real life. So I haven't played with them as teens that much. We are kind of making some stuff up as they go. I don't really exactly know what these people's hobbies are going to be yet, but I really like these bedrooms. I might just try and get a couple more clutter items. I don't know, like Bryce can have a backpack. I like this little sports team picture. That's kind of a cute touch. And I don't know, how about a, a robot? I actually like that. <laughs> I think that matches really well. This makes their grandma's room look really sad, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you want a rug? You can have a rug. They have a ghost wallpaper because they used to be dead and, and now they're alive again. It doesn't match, but I don't care. It looks better. <laughs> I think I want to do one last little detail. I'd kind of like to put a pride flag in here, but annoyingly it's going to slot to the wall. So I might need to like delete and then put it back. But I like the idea of hanging up a pride flag on this, like above the bed. Because otherwise this is just like a weird bookshelf in the middle of the room. If we hang the pride flag on it, we can make it seem like it's a little bit more intentional <laughs> and not just like a big plain 
plain empty box. I also think it looks really cute and it like kind of finishes up the room. And with that, I think we could probably be done with these three bedrooms. Like I mentioned, this is actually for a Let's Play that I've been playing here on my YouTube channel. So I can link that down below if you want to go back and watch it. I really have a lot of fun with these Sims and I think that you would enjoy to play with us. And also because they just became teens, we're basically starting a new generation. So if you haven't watched before, now is a good time to start because it's like a new thing. Essentially each generation is like a little mini series basically. So if you didn't watch the first generation, don't worry. Those Sims have been dead for like two years in real life. So it's fine. <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to cut this video right here. Thank you again for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. My cat has been sitting with us in here this entire time. That is so cute.